What's good YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR and since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to this YouTube channel and please make sure you click the notification bell and make sure you give me a big thumbs up and also leave your comments down below. <laughs> what's good to youtube what's good tmr gang welcome back to the channel y'all and welcome back to yet another live reaction video you guessed it i'm your girl tmr and i'll definitely be your host today shouts out to the two live crew child i see you by far the best damn chat on youtube honey you better ask somebody about this two live crew. Shouts out to the Bush gang. Hey, Bush watchers. What it do, y'all? And also shouts out to the replay gang. Hey, replay gang. Let us know in the replay that you were here so we definitely know it's real. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get into this live reaction video. We're going to also start it off with roll call. Y'all know how we do this over here. Hey, Lumi, replay gang here to take my son shopping. I know that's right, sis. Hey, Mary Blue, exploiting children for clicks and views, shaking my head. I hate it for the babies. Oh, Mary Blue, yes. Hey, your spoiledness. Hey, Miss Cookie. Let's see who else is in the building. Hey, Butterfly. Let's see who else. Uh, Ahada. Oh, I'm early today, sis. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you, too. Okay. Hey, Latoy. Hey, Miss 65. Let's see who else is in the building. Making me some grits, eggs, and bacon ready for the good Kiki with the sis. Hey, Miss Cookie. All right, y'all. Make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Hey, Nikki. TMR is definitely not going to keep you all day today because we know it's Saturday. And if you did not know, let me remind you, there is a 48-hour countdown to TMR's. 49th birthday. Okay, y'all. I will be turning 49 on Monday. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. I'm getting ready to say bye to my 40s and stepping right on into the big five. Oh, oh Lord. Y'all got one more year. That's it. But I'm going to make this year a good year. You hear me? Do you hear me? Okay. So to remind you guys, if you're not familiar, Mel V. Rose Beauty. I put out a couple videos showing you guys some product demonstrations of what is to come for Mel V. Rose Beauty. So I hope you guys take um, a quick peek at those videos. I put one out yesterday to show you our body butters, two of the body butters that we're going to be selling. So I hope you guys definitely come out and support. Um, tomorrow, you guys, we are going to do a pre-birthday bash, okay, for TMR and whoever else is a Virgo. Um, for the month, we've been kind of shouting out Virgos as they come into the chat and let us know that it's their birthday today. So if today is your birthday, happy birthday to you, my Virgo sis or my Virgo bro, okay? And uh, many, 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 many more to come. Hey, Jess Mo Live, what's up, sis? CC Lewis. Hey, Patrice. Hey, Ty Ty fam bam. When I saw this on her channel, she's been waiting for your kids for money. Yeah, living and loving Lola. Hey, Tina. Hey, okay. Erica, A. Marie, Katrina, Monica, Paris. Hey, Miss Courtney. Hey, Peach. Ashley Bashley with love. May. Okay, y'all. Hey, Shanika. Miss Yellowhawk, Mama Shell, Life of Pudding. All right, good morning. Hey, Miss Mai. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Majesty. Hey, Felicia. If I skipped over you, TMR don't mean any harm. Hey, Trinise. 
Hey, Mama Twins, I'm just trying to get through it, you guys. Hey, Monique, because I don't want to keep you guys all day. Hey, Tia. Hey, Miss Pearl. Hey, Pine. Hey, Tella B. Okay. All right. I see y'all coming in. I see y'all coming in. Hey, Opal. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Tamara. Faithfully Best says Virgo Gang. All right, you guys, make sure you hit the like button. And um, as you see from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about Jordan Cheyenne. Now, y'all, as of up in, hey, Reese, um, hey, Fluffy, um, up until yesterday, y'all, I didn't know who this woman was. I was like, who the hell is a damn Jordan Cheyenne? Child, this lady, honey, is like one of the most hated moms on YouTube right now. So the other day, maybe about a week or so ago, she put up a video talking about um, her dog. They bought a second dog. I think the dog name is Rosie. I just got finished editing this video. Um, hey, go get a. Hey, Nurse P Chronicles. Hey, Yana Mama. So um, she put up a video a week or so ago um, telling her audience, her and her son, that their dog that they had just purchased has a parvo and was very, very sick. And uh, now she was sitting in her car, her and her son, I guess they had just came from the vet or whatever. And the they were... She was doing the video, editing the video. Well, she was actually filming the video, telling the people the events of what was going on. And then the video, I guess for her, was ending. And now they needed a pose for a thumbnail. So her son was very emotional in the video. Um, you can tell that he was very, very emotional. And she basically preyed on his vulnerability of being emotional um, again, he's a little kid understanding feelings and trying to, you know, deal with feelings about, you know, sickness and death. She chose to take that opportunity to use him for a thumbnail. And it was just like, when I watched it, I said, girl, are you serious? Like, is, is that serious for you to get the right picture thumbnail? You tell your son to pretend like he's crying and he tells you, I am crying. He's like, Mom, I am emotional. Yeah, uh -huh, my feelings really are hurt. I said, oh, my goodness. So um, this is a, a, a new mommy to the lineup, y'all, okay? Because we know it's a whole bunch of mommies out there, y'all. We talk about it all the time when we talk about the three moms over here. We say there's a whole bunch of mommies out here. And this lady, I, yeah, I knew nothing about this lady. But I'm going to tell you something. My thought. Something fishy about this whole situation. Now, we're going to share the video that basically rocked this internet um, with her staging her son in her emotional state for a thumbnail. Now, I'm going to warn you guys. Um, there is, I'm having issues with my internet. I don't know what it is. I have a new internet provider. And, honey, they've been showing their asses since I had this damn internet for some reason, it only happens when I try to share videos. I don't know what's that about, but I hope you guys bear with me. I'm not watching the dragged up stupid chick. Oh, okay. All this ratchet moms need to be banned from YouTube. Hey, Kay. You know, y'all, it's just sad what people will do to get a coin. You know, it's it's just, it's very unfortunate. Y'all, we know for these family channels that call themselves vlogging their lives, you really can't vlog your life because it unless you keep the camera on 24-7, seven days a week, nonstop, you can't vlog everything. And there are some things that you just don't want the world to see, you know? Um, yes, Miss T. Xander, very selfish. And you know what's the, the part that bothers me is the woman says she's been on YouTube for eight years. And it's just awful funny. Hey, life is his queen that you say you went to edit this video and for whatever reason, you forgot to take this part out. Now, again, you guys, she says she's been on YouTube for eight years. How do you forget to take that part of the video out? 
How do you forget to edit that part out? I personally feel like she intentionally did this to get the conversation that she got going on now. Now, it said that she she disabled her channel. They said she disabled her channel. She disabled her Instagram. Yeah, I believe she did. I believe she left it there on purpose. I believe she did that just to get the buzz going. Because, again, like I told you guys, prior to this, I didn't know this lady. Matter of fact, one of my YouTube compadres told me about it. I didn't even know anything about it, right? So, again, everybody obviously didn't know who she was, but I've seen videos of people who've done reactions and commentary who got hundreds of thousands of views on these videos. So, we're going to share this video really quick. Like you're crying. Like I am crying. Go like this. No, mom, I'm not just using crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. No, let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. No, mom, I'm actually crying. Look at me. 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 I know, look at me. Look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Okay. So, you know, it's the whole exploiting your child for coin. It's the whole um act like you're crying. It's the whole move your hand from your mouth so the people can really see you. It's the whole not letting this child, your child, the one you are supposed to protect from the world. It's the whole you allowed your child to be so vulnerable to the world. So not only people are critiquing you, unfortunately, he is in the conversation because he was a part of this clip. Okay. Yes, instead of comforting him, again, like we watch with these mommies, y'all use these kids to entice the people to come watch your videos. And it's just like, you could have did any thumbnail. You could you could have been the one on the screen, the one crying. You could have faked your own cry and then put a picture of the dog on the screen. You didn't need him a part of that. Oh, my God, YouTube got these folks doing the most reviews. Just be yourself. And you'll get the views. Right, CC Rose, especially for this lady who's been on YouTube for eight years. But it was like, it was the whole you wanting to pull on the heartstrings of, of many, many hundreds and thousands of animal lovers. And you use your son and your and then you not even paying attention to the boy. He's telling you, Ma, I am hurt. Like this, not, you know, it's like he knew that he was supposed to be faking for the camera. Like he he knew it because you could just tell this is something she's done to him before, right? But this particular video, you say you uploaded it to YouTube and forgot to take that part out. Well, how did you forget to take that part out when you had to free when you were editing your video? You had to stop and freeze frame that particular part because that's what you were posing for. So as you were editing the video and you stopped the camera to freeze frame that part so you can get a snapshot of it so you can edit it for your thumbnail? How did you forget to edit that part out? Yeah, you didn't forget to edit that part out. You did that on purpose because you wanted what's going on now. Lots and lots of conversation. He said it more than once. He sure did. The name of the channel is Jordan Cheyenne, but I believe she um, has disabled her channel. She, um, it, she disabled her channel and she disabled her Instagram. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now what we're going to do, she has done many apology videos. It definitely is a form of abuse. It's a form of emotional abuse. Okay. Because again, 
they are, we talked about this before, how they always got to, you know, we talked about Jasmine, when Jasmine came on the camera and told the whole world about the kids, you know, y'all remember when she took, uh, what, a few, few days ago, she did the video um, where she was showing the kids getting their physical, their speech therapy with the speech therapist. And I remember I told you guys, like, why would you show that? Like, that's, that's a private matter. That's a private personal matter. It's just like when you go to school, right? For the kids who get speech therapy in school, they don't have the kids sitting in the, in the cafeteria where anybody can walk by or anybody can peek in and see what's going on. They have the kids in a closed room. They have them in a classroom. They don't, they don't do speech therapy in the middle of the whole class. Like they don't take two. If there's four kids in the class that need speech therapy, they don't pull those four kids and put them in the back of the classroom while the teacher is there conducting class for the other children. They typically take those kids. They typically take those kids out of the classroom and take them to a private environment. But yet you got people like Jasmine, uh, Olivia, y'all know recently with Olivia uh, doing the reaction of telling her kids that she's pregnant and showing her little girl crying on the camera again, using these kids for clicks and views. And it's just so unfortunate that they do this because it, you know, me, you got to understand these are children growing up. So what to me personally, what I would think is these children would now be in a position where they think everything they do, it has to be a camera shot moment. which is allowing these kids not to live normal children lives, you know? Now you do have a lot of family channels on here that are very responsible with the fact that they are exploiting their, their kids to the internet. You have a lot of channels out here, like Maze Lee for one of them. They, they appear to be very responsible um, with the authority of having their children on the internet. They don't blog every single thing. They only vlog some things. I remember watching a video of Maze Lee about a year or so ago where one of um Ayana uh what's her name? Elena, Elena. One of Elena's daughters wanted to cut her hair. She had long pretty hair and she wanted to cut her hair. And I remember Elena doing the video showing, you know, cuz she basically little girl wanted her hair short like her mom's. And I remember Elena showing that video, you know, she Ed, you know, obviously filmed it, edited it, put it up, but she did it in a very respectful way. But we remember when Olivia cut her daughter's hair off and showed the little girl, you know, amazed, astonished. She was like, oh my God, did my hair just get cut? You know, moments like that, that really shouldn't be shared with the world, that that's a private matter. You know, again, I'm not saying people shouldn't vlog their lives if that's what they want to do. But when you got the kids involved in it, I really feel like they should be very protective of the type of stuff that you put out here for the people to see about your children because we know people criticize everything they criticize you they criticize the kids hell y'all know we even criticize old bentley we criticized a, a jasmine's little dog over there you know how poorly um kept he looked you know everything gets criticized so you to me personally i and then these are the kids that can see this they can see the comment section. They can see the chatter of what people are saying about them on the internet. And, you know, even as adults, it's um it's hard for adults to actually deal with the criticism. So you could just imagine what the children would have to deal with. Hey, Nada Nada. Um, let's see here. Uh, and the kids won't know how to have healthy relationships with others thinking it's okay to record their friends and family without permission. They continue the unfortunate exploiting, exploiting cycle. That's true, Mary Blue. That is very true. So this Jordan Cheyenne, after this video basically went viral, okay, and people basically lashed out at this lady. They sent, they like, she said she's received death threats, insults, just a multitude of things. Um, she did some apology videos, okay? So we're going to take a look at one of her apology videos. She, I think she did like three of them. Just one moment, you guys.
Okay, you guys. So I just want to forewarn you again that I am having trouble with sharing my screen. So it might be some lagging in the video. And again, I want to apologize in advance. She contracted this before we bought her. Uh, we we're very upset. We've been crying all day. It has been extremely scary. They don't know if she's an idiot. Um, it has been such an emotional day. And I put up that video maybe 30 minutes ago. In the ending of the video, I Just one moment, you guys. I I don't understand why it's doing this. All right, I'm back. We're going to try this one more time. It was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. And so many of you commented about it. The first video I uploaded, I forgot to. Honestly, completely worn out, emotional crying the whole day. I had Christian on my shoulder and I was like, here, come here, compose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. And so many of you commented about it. The first video I uploaded, I forgot to edit out like my bloopers, so I edited out the ending. And so many of you said, girl, we already saw that. We're so disappointed in you, in the mom you are. Like, why would you make him post for a thumbnail? And my, like my heart like dropped. I rewatched the footage and I cannot believe, I rewatched it and you guys are completely right. A hundred million percent right. And I so hope you know that I'm genuine about that because 
Today was, I'll tell you all about the puppy another day, but we basically got a puppy. Her name is Rosie. We are hoping that she's going to make How could we know you're genuine about anything? That clinic all day. Um, and I was just so flustered and emotional all day and like was trying to rush with Christian at the end. And we were, I told him like, hey, pose for a thumbnail. Like, this is a sad video. Act sad. And that's just, it's so wrong. I should have never done that. Looking back at the footage, I'm so disgusted with myself. I want to thank those of you who brought that to my attention. Um, uh, some people were like, oh, she's turning off comments because she's ignoring it. This is not me ignoring it. This is me coming on camera five minutes after it happened. No makeup, nothing coming on and saying, I'm so sorry. Anytime I make a mistake in life or my friends or family do, I'm the first person to say, I will still respect that person if they own it and they say, sorry. I was so watching it back. It's just, I think I was just so emotional today and flustered and like, I should never. The only reason she, the only reason why she's owning it now is because she received all the backlash. Had no one said anything to her, she wouldn't have said anything about basically making your son be emotional or faking for the thumbnail. She would have never even said anything about it had she not received any backlash. Ever, ever have even tried to do a thumbnail on such a video where we have been so emotional all day. Um, and I'm just so disappointed in myself. I want to thank those of you who called me out for it. A few people DM me on Instagram and I wrote back. I'm not shying away from it. I wrote back and I was like, you're completely right. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I greatly appreciate it. It sucks because now people are going to think that our emotions from today were not genuine when they completely were. Christian and I have been crying literally the entire day. We got this brand new puppy who is adorable and such an amazing addition to our family. So even after all of this, even in the apology video, she still was trying to pull on the heartstrings of the audience. It's like, girl, we heard you. So she didn't watch the video before she posted it. Girl, by you're apologizing for the wrong reasons. Just own your ish and cut your losses. Exactly with love. You're apologizing because you slipped up. Yeah, I, yeah I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think she... I think she intentionally left that in there because we know on social media, people do things for the wow factor. And she knew this was going to upset and irate. She probably didn't think it was going to get to this level of where people were, you know, death threats and things of that nature. But she knew that it was going to strike a lot of conversation. And we know on social media, that's what people want when they have these content creators. A lot of these content creators want the people talking about them because we know when people talk about you, like there has already been several people in the chat that says, where's her channel? Who is this? You know, again, this gets people knowing who you are. But why would you want to be known for this reason? Pulling the heartstrings of the audience. Exactly. She talked too fast to be telling the truth. But it was, um, where's Mr. Clean? Someone mapped this mess up. Why mop this mess up? Exactly. It was the whole keep stressing the fact that you guys were so emotional. Well, if you were so emotional, then maybe you probably should have filmed the video after you finished being emotional. Maybe you should have helped um, console your son more. She said in the video, you know, her family has never dealt with this type of trauma before. So maybe you should have worked with your son and explained to him what sickness is and it could ultimately lead into death. You know, maybe you should have took the time to really explain that. Maybe you should have did a video saying how you had to explain to him about dealing with situations like that. Because again, he's a little kid. He's just learning how to deal with emotions. You're a grown woman. You already know how to deal with emotions. Hello, KP. So she did another apology video. So she went on someone's podcast where they, this person's supposed to have been interviewing her. So again, if you're so shameful of what you've done, if you're so sorrowful of what you have done and how you are making people feel why are you going on an apology campaign tour like you're going everywhere apologizing like sis cut your losses and move on to the next conversation there's youtube these youtube lies so much and involve the kids exactly like if if you're gonna lie as an adult that's your business it's when you involve the children 
you know, and, and we think about it, you know, these kids, they're not getting a YouTube check. Obviously, the, the, the parents of these children are paying the rent and the bills and stuff like that. But they're the ones taking these trips and getting these elaborate cars and and doing all these, you know, buying all these fabulous things for themselves. And I'm not saying they're not buying anything for the kids, but you are the one that's getting the bulk of this money. You're in control of all this money. So she did another apology video on Instagram. So we're going to share that video real quick. Ways, this is why I have posted three apologies about this so far. I went on the dad challenge podcast this morning. He asked to interview me and we answered so many questions about child exploitation and children on YouTube. I have made a commitment moving forward to not include my son in any videos. I even went back and took off about 20 videos that had myself and Christian in them. I will continue to do so. It's going to take me a minute. I've been vlogging for eight years, but I have made the decision that is 100% the healthiest for my child and his mental health to be off the camera. Um, and I just want to let you guys know this as well. After eight years of vlogging, I am making the decision to take Christian completely off my channel. This is not, not because of the hate or the backlash I'm getting right now, which is absolutely fucking so much and terrible and death threats and things that I believe are so past the limit. I fucked up so fucking bad. You guys, I'm so mad at myself. Talked about this more on Josh's podcast if you want to check it out. And someone even commented, like, oh, you're just promoting a podcast for monetization. I don't get a penny from that, nor do I want one. I made myself, I pushed myself to have the courage to go on that podcast, knowing he would probably fucking rip me to shreds. And he let me talk about my struggles with sharing my child online and with everything that comes with being an influencer, which I fucking hate that word. I don't think of myself as this. And I had a huge talk with my family today and they're like, we love you and we want you to be happy and mentally healthy, but we're fucking disappointed. And I started crying because I am so disappointed in myself as well. I can't even, I cannot even tell you. And this is not just due to the recent backlash or people posting me. I posted an apology here on YouTube three days ago before these viral people even started posting me. For those of you who didn't see it, that's why I want to post this. I've done this for eight years, but I'm done posting my son. It will not happen again. Uh, for the foreseeable future on YouTube, I am done posting Christian. I'm going to do the best I can to move forward, and I want to let you guys know that. I am deeply sorry to my audience and my loving, supportive followers that they saw a minute or two of such a poor, horrible decision-making on my part, and that they now think that everything is disingenuous on my channel, or that moment, or that whole day we weren't emotional, or we weren't being genuine, which we were. Our new puppy, Rosie, is still in the vet. She is... She has Parvo. She, I'm hoping she makes it. I don't even want to say the words that she's not going to make it. But Girl, you've already said this a million times. By me being fucking fake, it proves or it shows, it makes you guys think that, well, what is real with her? Like, is everything fake? I totally get that. If I saw someone else do this, I would be like, that's fucking wrong. I am mad at myself. I'm so disappointed in myself. I had a huge talk with all my family today. All I can do is move forward not include him in future content, take a step back from social media, reevaluate my mindset and what is reality and fucking learn and grow from this. I am so sorry. I am sorry to my audience, but really mostly to my child. A lot of people are seeing the post on Instagram from here for the tea and all these new channels who are reporting about me. And for those people, my Instagram apology or like chat about this has expired. So I want to put something, something permanent here on my channel. I am deeply upset with myself and I am so fucking disappointed in myself. I can't even tell you guys I am resolving this on the back end with my child. He is fine. He is safe. He is healthy. He loves being in the videos, but I know that he is not old enough to consent to that. I've made the choice moving forward to keep him off. Everyone can hold me to that. Trust me, I'll be fucking holding myself to it for the time being. I will obviously be off YouTube for a little bit. I will be doing everything I can to prioritize Christian's mental health. It lets you guys know Christian will not be in any future content. I am horrified and disgusted with myself that I got to that level that I would even prioritize a thumbnail and pulling him into that situation in such an emotional moment for us. So, um... Like I said, you guys, this woman is clearly 
a narcissist. She is relishing in the fact that people are discussing her. Like this is, this is, this is what she's been waiting. This is the moment she's been waiting for. If you notice in the video, she kept talking about this dad channel podcast. I, again, I've never even heard of it, but you're promoting the podcast. She even talked about how these other T channels are discussing her because she knows she's look, she's watched other YouTubers on these YouTube channels, you know, on these T channels being discussed. And I guarantee you, this woman is probably sitting there talking to her husband saying, I want to be known just, I want millions and millions of subscribers. You know, um, you're taking your son off. Um, you said you're going to not post for a little while. So you didn't say you were going to post ever again, just for a little while. Right. You're waiting for the smoke to settle. Right. And then you'll be back. Yes. You're saying that you're not going to post your son, but trust me in about two months when you think everybody has forgotten and they're on to the next YouTube family channel scandal, then you're going to sneakily slide your son right back on the YouTube channel, right? Sneakily slide him right back on. It's sad how these people are so um, irresponsible with protecting their children here on the internet. You know, the internet is a very dark, vicious, evil place. You know, and there's a lot of disturbed people on the internet, right? And now you are, by doing this, by leaving that clip in your video, now you have threatened your whole family's safety. Your whole, there are people who will get so mad that since they will literally find you waiting for you, waiting for you to come out the house through your garage and be standing there waiting for you or follow you to a damn Walmart or a gas station. Like you can't think that people are not that crazy to do things like that because they definitely are. Y'all, we see it all the time. Yep, the Donald Trump factor, bad attention is still good attention. Exactly, Miss Pearl. Unfortunately, a child is a paycheck to some people. Uh, that's unfortunate, but it's true. And I, look, you guys, I'm not against people, family channels. I, I mean, if you want to put your kids on here and show, you know, fun things that's going on, I just really feel like you need to be responsible. But I think the responsibility flies out the window when these dollars start rolling in on these channels, because we know for the love of money is the root of all evil. And when there's money involved, people lose their damn minds. They, they, they no longer realize what's right, what's wrong. Integrity flies right out the window when it got to do with dollars. Okay. We see it all the time on the internet, all the time. Okay, Pine, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, Jess Bree, Pine did that accidentally. Hey, Stephanie. She's like, live life, any attention is good attention. Exactly, exactly, Cassandra. Any attention is good attention, you know? And I guess, you know, I, I guess, it, you know, like we, we talked about Sukiana, you know, how Sukiana um, does what she does. Um, and... Sukiana really doesn't care what type of attention she get because she figured like any attention is money in her pocket. And I guess you're right. But, you know, can we be the voice of reason for everybody in the world? No. But when it comes to these kids, I just really wish people would try to um, protect their children's privacy as much as possible. Tim, I can't believe she cares about the views at this point. She has a big enough following. Um, that That's true. But uh, obviously she has a big enough following, but she wants an even bigger following, right? It's the greed. It's the gluttony of it all. Um, he might become an actor when he grow up. <laughs> he might. Right. She doesn't care. No, she doesn't. She definitely doesn't care. And, you know, like I told you guys the other day when um, when Jasmine was filming um, the speech therapist, there working with her children. I was totally against that. Like I was like, sis, you didn't have to, you know, and then you showed the therapist too. like, did you get permission from the therapist to show you on your YouTube video? You know, it's just like, stop exploiting these children. Let these children Say if they want to be on the camera or not. Y'all, we know we watch Jasmine show her children having all type of um, emotional behaviors. And, you know, and again, not protecting your children. If your child, if your child is misbehaving or having some type of 
uh, breakdown. It's not your business to film that and put it up for the whole world to see. To me, in a, in a way, it's like you're trying to humiliate them uh, instead of you for you're trying to think you're proving a point, but you're necessarily not proving a point. You're just further humiliating the child. YouTubers get pregnant and see the dollar signs. Exactly. We know that that does on YouTube, you know, uh, pregnancies, those videos get millions of views. I've had to explain to my kids that I made a, a decision and that I apologize for making them feel away. That's how you do that. Exactly, Jess Bree. You just apologize to your child. Like, you owed your child more apology than you did the public, right? Because you don't live with the public, right? You live, but again, she knows that her views are going to go down. People, you know, thumbs in the video down. And, you know, so again, you're going on a whole campaign tour of apologizing, you know, apologize 2021 for something that you did. And again, my personal opinion is she intentionally kept that clip in the video. Because if you are a person who's been on YouTube for eight years, you are very, proficient in editing videos how did you leave that little part in the video at the end when you got to the point you said that part of you crying was supposed to be your thumbnail when when you when you were editing on your computer and you freeze frame that part to get it as a thumbnail you why didn't you edit the rest of that part out you could not be moving that fast where you didn't realize oh let me take this blooper out or whatever you want to call it i really feel like she intentionally because if you guys notice the video that we um, we just showed, well, the, the the first apology, she said 30 minutes after she uploaded the video, it's her filming her apology. 30 minutes. It's like she was literally waiting for the response. Like she was waiting. Like she was sitting there probably looking at her YouTube backstage and was waiting to see the views and get the comments to see how people were. You, you put up this apology video 30 minutes after your video was uploaded? Not three days later, 30 minutes. So you were waiting for the, you knew you was going to get this type of response. These children grow up and will suffer the consequences of their parents' actions. Exactly. It is. It's very, it's a, it's a damn shame. But y'all, you know, they always say, oh, you guys are always talking about these black moms. You don't never talk about the white mommies. Well, here go one right here. Okay. There go one right here. We are definitely discussing her and her poor judgment. Um, I, I, I can't even say poor judgment because to me that's giving her a little grace. Um, her uh, despicable reasoning. Okay, but telling you, put, put your put your head right here. Put your head right here. It's like making that boy confused. He don't know when to act or be real because. It appears in your house, especially when the camera's on, it's like you guys are always acting. I don't think she realized how she was being a itty mom in that moment until people called it out. I don't think so either, because in her mind, at that moment, hoes of YouTube, in that at that particular moment, all she was thinking about was the thumbnail that was going to attract people and catch the view. All she was thinking about at that very moment was how many views she's going to get on that video, especially from animal lovers. And they will wonder why their kids start lying and acting out when they get older. Exactly. Exactly. That's that. That's the thing. When you start wondering why your child is showing out, well, I mean, just go back to your YouTube video. That right there will show you. That's why Jazz did it because her views were low and her likes were down. Exactly. Exactly. Always again, instead of just using themselves, using the kids, because we know the we know people love the kids, right? People love the kids, and most people who watch these family channels, they're watching because they want to see the kids. That's why they're watching. Y'all know Keisha K. Lee. That's why she keeps her daughter's faces in the camera. I never okay, I never understood with Keisha K. Lee. Y'all remember earlier this year how she said she was being harassed and people was coming to her high-rise apartment in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. Um, well, it's not downtown. It's, um, it's off of Peachtree Street. But anyway, um, they were coming to her apartment. She was afraid for her children and her lives. And, you know, you, uh, the, you know, you, you're, you know, people are 
threatening you. You're, you're, you're a mommy first. Your job is to protect your children. And you know, you're so, you know, you're tired of people talking about your kids on the internet, but then you go and make a family channel for your kids exclusively. So if you're so worried about how the ridicule that you're receiving about your children and your mothering, then you further exploit them by having a, your kids, a family or a kids channel on YouTube. I, I didn't understand that. I said just a few months ago, you were acting like you were about to dig a hole in the ground and go live underground. Now you got a whole kids channel for your children? Oh, yeah, she definitely was a hotter. That's okay, Stephanie. It's just, it's just, you know, it's 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 starting to become very sickening to watch these people. It's it's very draining to watch these people. And that's how these reaction channels came about, right? Because people are just frustrated and tired. They're like, oh my God, will y'all chill out? Oh, Monique, it definitely was a lie. That girl, she wasn't a bit more afraid for her children's lives or her life than a man on the moon. Because if you was, you would have stayed off YouTube more than a week. <laughs> okay. And then when you come back, you introduce a whole kids channel for your daughters. You know, the ones that you say you're trying to protect from the internet. My God. Unknown, unknown, that is definitely true. That was definitely true. People are getting tired of them using these kids for views and money. Right. And that's why heavy um, heavy on the beauty, that's why people sit and debunk. That's the reason why we are sitting here debunking if Olivia is pregnant or not. Okay. Um, Liv's life, you got familiar with her channel. That's why we're sitting there debunking it because we see these YouTubers lie all the time about things that they don't even have to lie about. It's like at this point, instead of lying, just don't say anything. But we know these people have no cooth about themselves. So they will put any and everything out here. Um, so just let's segue a little bit off of Jordan Cheyenne. I did I guess we I'm I'm gonna she took her channel down from my understanding, but I feel like it will I think she just took it down just to get the cheat off of her. But I think she definitely will be back. Keisha lied about everything. That's why she taped the floor now. Exactly, Gemini. But she's been taping the floor. I think that. I don't know if you guys watch her friend Aisha's Everything's channel. Aisha Everything was on that Girls Like Us podcast with Keisha. Aisha Everything just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I actually really like her channel. Now, Aisha doesn't have any children. Um, she's, you know, she's not a mommy. She's just, but what I like about Aisha's channel is that, like, she, when you go to her channel, it's, it's it's very entertaining. She's always traveling somewhere. Um, her her boyfriend's birthday was just, I don't know, a week or so ago. They went to Amsterdam for his birthday. She's always blogging, like shopping, and she's going to a birthday party or she's going to this event. You know, she's always showing stuff. You know, it's not her sitting in the camera rambling like Keisha does, rambling off at the mouth for 10, 15 minutes about her body. Keisha, I was like, girl, nobody care about your body. Nobody. Um, that's how I be feeling when I'm watching her. I'm like, girl, nobody cares. Okay, Jim and I, uh, you said, I like, yeah, I really like Aisha's channel. She's so cute. I really do like her. I like her ex friend Brit's channel. Yes, I like Brittany. Um, Marshall Party of Five. I like her channel. Her and her uh, husband just came back from Aruba. See, that's what I'm talking about. Taking vacations. We've never seen Olivia. Jasmine, hell, even Chrissy. We've never seen none of these ladies go anywhere, okay? Never. And Marshall Party of Five, she has, what, three children? We don't never see these ladies go anywhere or do anything but sit on the floor or stand in their bathroom and lie to the camera. That's all we ever see. I never watch Keisha. Trust me, sis, you're not missing anything. You're, you're okay. Big J lies, says her daughter got stung six times, then goes on video and said five times. Well, Erica, here's the thing. It was like, uh, Jasmine had a lot going on over there. Uh, uh, beast things, shootings. Uh, I'm going to show you guys something that I thought I saw um, the other day on her community tab. And I was just like, girl, what the hell are you talking about? So let me pull it in real quick. 
you guys know the other day Jasmine went to um get an ultrasound and she showed um I I think they call that what is it a 3D picture? 3D picture ultrasound. And girl, when I tell you she had that camera on that ultrasound for about 10 damn minutes, I was like, Jasmine, how long do we got to sit here and look at the damn ultrasound? Okay, sis, we see there's a baby in your belly. Jasmine, we been believed that you were pregnant. When the belly, belly started growing, we knew you was pregnant, sis. Okay, just one moment, pulling it up. Okay, so as y'all see, she posted, she said, in two more months, the baby will be here. And I thought to myself, girl, from the looks of that stomach, it looks like the baby going to be here next month. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then she posted this. This was the day she posted the video of um, her at getting the ultrasound. And so she says on here, who does baby boy look more like? Me and Aiden, his daddy, and then in parentheses, Chris. Jasmine, sis, who else was going to be the daddy? Everybody that watch your channel know that you are pregnant with a boy, okay? So we knew that. And everybody that watches your channel, sis, knows that Chris is your boyfriend and you've already told us that you're pregnant by Chris. So when you said his daddy, what other daddy would there be besides Chris? It's like it's the goofiness for me. Oh my goodness. Now they she did a poll and 54% says that the baby looks like Chris based off the grainy 3D image of the ultrasound. I said, "Oh my goodness." I said, Jasmine really is acting like this is her very first pregnancy. Good morning. Hey, Lee Pie. Good morning, ladies. Please pray for my family. We are headed to lay my husband. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Cousin to rest today. He passed from COVID. Oh, Lee Pie, I'm sorry to hear that, sis. Yes, you guys, please put some prayer hands in the chat for Lee Pie. Lee Pie is one of our real good sis. Um, peace be with you and your family at your time of need, Lee Pie. I'm so sorry that you guys had to do that today. Kim said, halfway through it, I'm confused my damn self. The baby to me looks like her. I don't even understand how y'all can tell what the baby looks like. I'll just wait till the baby come out and she show the baby. Then I'll make my determination on who the baby look like. Okay. That baby, that baby better look like Chris. Or you gonna have some explaining to do, Jasmine. Yeah, that definitely gave me high school vibes. I know. It's just like, who did the baby look like? Who, who else is supposed to look like? My question with Jasmine is she is she at least at 50k subscribers? No. But if you guys watch just Jazzy. She just hit 50K subscribers. Um, and Jasmine is still, you know, running uh, right on behind. She's lying unless she has gestational diabetes. She's going to have a 20-pound baby at this point. No way, baby, 4.5 pounds at 28 weeks. Nurse Pre Chronicles, I, that was my next point. Thank you for bringing that up. Jasmine said the baby weighs 4.5 pounds at 28 weeks. Girl. How? Technically, you carry a baby 40 weeks, so you have what? 12 more weeks to go? And your baby already weighs 4.5 pounds? Jasmine, do you mean that you do next month? Because how? And then now she says that she has to go to the doctor every two weeks. Well, typically, 
You do that in the last, what, the last month of your pregnancy? You don't go every, unless you're high risk. And Jasmine already said she wasn't high risk. I do too. Erica, I think the girl do next month. That's why it's a mad dash for car seats and strollers. Child, child, she can't count or don't know when she do. Oh, my goodness. I said to her, based off what I hope, not the ultrasound. I don't understand how people can really say that based off the ultrasound. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, how can you tell who the baby look like from an ultrasound, even if it's a 3D image? I, yeah, I think I think the girl do next month. Because how is your baby 4.5, 4 pounds, 5 ounces at 28 weeks and you still technically got about 10 more weeks to go. Girl, if, if mess around, you're going to have a 40-pound baby. Okay? You're going to have a 5-year-old. <laughs> Girl, if that's the case, your doctor getting ready to take that baby immediately. 4.5? Y'all know there's babies born at 2 pounds and live. 4.5? A, a baby can leave the hospital at 5 pounds? Like, how is your baby all five? Lord Jasmine, Jasmine, did you did you mishear? I think you misheard um, the ultrasound tech or the doctor, whomever you were talking to. Maybe you misunderstood them or something like that. Uh, ch child, you about to have that baby today. If that baby is four point five pounds, y'all know in the last what the last month of your pregnancy, the baby gains what a pound a week or something like that. I had four children. I had two children. One was seven, seven. One was seven, nine. And both of the, the other two were eight, one. So two of my kids both weighed eight pounds, one ounce at birth. And I birthed all my kids before 40 weeks. Because I all my pregnancies were induced. I never carried a baby to full term. Never. So if I'd never carried a baby to full term and I had babies at 7.7 .7 pounds and 8.1 pounds, you're saying you're 28 weeks and your baby is already 4.5 pounds? Oh, my goodness. Girl, you're going to be on Ripley's, believe it or not. Oh, yo, you definitely going to get the 50K, girl, if you go over there and birth the whole 20-pound baby. Oh, my goodness. Half a pound a week. But knowing, uh, it'll be a pound of salt a week. Okay, is it a half a pound? Okay, y'all, it's been a minute. Okay, it's been a minute since TMI had a baby. My smallest baby was five pounds. Exactly, Erica. I'm like, girl, your baby already damn near five pounds at 28 weeks? Girl, you do next month. Not no damn December. You do next month. Or you got just, uh, or you got some type of gestational diabetes or something, something going on over there, sis. Oh my goodness. Uh, not today. I can with Jazzy. She's a, a little touch. Bless the heart. Yeah, Marie. Oh my goodness. Oh, TMR, it's the baby's hips. Oh, not the hips, slick diva. Oh my goodness, my babies were ten pounds. Oh, Mary Jane, you had a whole one year old. 10 pound babies, girl. You had a whole turkey. Oh my goodness. Oh, my boys were 6, 10, and 7, 2. I know babies can be all different sizes, but this sounds ridiculous. It really does. I mean, your babies were that weight at birth. She's saying at not even 30 weeks, her child is damn near five pounds. How, sis? How? And if that's the okay, case, they begin ready to start taking your baby now. I would be screaming, just put me to sleep and cut me to get the baby out, please, girl, with Nurse B. Chronicles. I would just tell the doc, hey, can I just go to the bathroom and try to just poop it out? Can I, uh, ooh. My oldest was nine pounds. Yes, honey. Five pounds at 28 weeks. Five pounds at 28 weeks, baby. That's what she said. She didn't say five pounds. She said 4.5 pounds at 28 weeks. I said, what? Oh my goodness, five pounds. Yes. I said, oh my goodness. My baby was full term and weighed five pounds, ten ounces. Ain't no way unless she had a gestational diabetes. This baby tend to be uh, to be big. Exactly, Desiree. I said, girl. I said, Jasmine, you better have an ultrasound. Because it sounds like you're about to pull a 20-pound baby out your belly. Oh my goodness. 
You're going to pull out a whole four-year-old. She can have that baby now if she's that much pounds. She's lying. She says it in her video. Yeah, exactly, Erica. She can have that baby today, and it'll be just fine. I, 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 elephant pregnancy. Exactly. I actually got a feeling, baby. I got. I actually got a feeling, baby boy is coming. Twelve six. Seriously, just her luck, mo lady. That baby better not come twelve six, and she already four. And the baby's already four point five pounds on September the eighteenth. That baby better not come at 12 6. That baby better come 10 6. <laughs> Shoot. She probably just like live pregnancy memory loss because the math don't sound right. Baby. Not 12 6. Yes, Janae. I said, oh, she better not have that baby 12 6. And the baby already 4.5. She better have that baby October the 6th, like I just said. You better have that baby October the 6th. And, oh, my goodness. Oh. Lord Jasmine, you over there pregnant with a whole uh I don't even know what to say with you pregnant with over there. Oh Lord Jazzy. Mm. Well, y'all, Jasmine's over there. She's dealing with uh bee stings and bullet wounds. And I said, What in the world is going on over there, Jasmine? Y'all, Jasmine is too funny to me. That lady is hilarious. So, y'all, let's let's segue a little bit. I haven't really been watching Olivia like that, y'all, because I'm going to be honest with you. Olivia has wore me out. I said, sis, I just, just let me know. Just, Olivia, let me know when they say push. When they, when you ready to push the baby out, when, when they ain't say push, Livy, push. Sis, turn the camera on and upload it to YouTube so I can get a notification that you about to deliver. Because, baby, I cannot. Okay, I cannot. So y'all know Olivia says that the alleged baby daddy, Frank over there, y'all know she said that, uh, you know, she already knew Frank was bisexual, okay? She said that Frank told her that he was bisexual. And once Frank told her that, she basically stopped messing around with him. And that's when she got with the new boot thing. Hey, Sassy, that's when she got with the new boot thing over there. Uh, Sassy, we know she lying. So um, I said, well, wait a minute, sis. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all, we remember last year when uh, Olivia lived in the house and she sat in that garage. Y'all remember when she told the whole world that Gerard was gay? And she was just so uh, repulsed behind that. She was like, oh, my God, I think he's gay. Y'all remember that? Well, now you're telling us, sis, that the man that you met and was over there sleeping with, I don't know how this conversation came up. I don't know if y'all was sitting on your back patio drinking coffee, looking at the pond in front of your, in the, behind your house or your apartments. And he just turned to you and said, you know what? I've always wanted to say something to you, you know, for the two months that I've known you. But I just want you to know that although I like you, I like him too. Ah! So I said, well, wait a minute, sis. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, J Livia, if you said that the man Zolo told you that he was bisexual, sis. Okay, sassy. If he was bisexual. Since when did he tell you that? Was it before or after you was on camera slobbing on his knob? You remember that, Olivia? Remember back in June when um you were you and him having a funky good time over there and you were slobbing on his knob on camera? So did he tell you he was bisexual before that or after that? I sis, just let us know in a video, okay? Because I'm just confused. When did he tell you that? Before you slobbed on his knob or after? I'm hoping for you it was before. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, two months. Uh-huh. I said, wait a minute, girl. When did he tell you that? Hell, you just met the ninja, what, in April? You didn't get back to Florida in, in, until, what, February? So when did he when did he tell you that he liked the him too? Before or after you did that video that you took down where you was over there slobbing on his knobs? Says, oh my goodness. 
Oh, Lord. She, he's gay because he doesn't want her. I will answer after. Oh, my goodness. Uh, TSA was during, sis. Kim says near. <laughs> Not pushing the near, Kim. TSA was during. It's the whole manufacturing fake storylines for me. Another installment of the YouTube original whole opera. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's funny watching her when she lying. Baby, it's hilarious. I'm like, you were so repulsed when, when you thought allegedly Gerard was gay. But your boyfriend that you said was your soulmate told you that he bisexual. And you just like, okay, well, you can stay here for another 30 days. But um, I just want to let you know that I am going to be, you know, sleeping with another man. I hope you don't mind. Since that don't even make no damn sense. Yeah, wait. Yes, Katrina, the new baby daddy. Oh, my goodness. That damn time she's going to remember them dates. You hear me? Babe, I'm telling you, I'm good with dates. She always say they gay. Uh-huh. The only one she didn't say was gay, I think, was Brandon. I don't think she said he was. Oh, Kim said all the men gay that don't want her. Miss Lena says, say hi for the camera, sis. Where did it happen? Why did it happen? Nobody knows. Baby, I'm telling you. I just want to know, you. since you said he told you that he was bisexual, since when did he tell you that? Was it before you slobbed on his knob or was it after? That's all I want to know. For you, sis, I don't know. I, I don't even know which one would be better for you to know. She, right, Shakira, she didn't have time. She, uh, Miss Sanders says she's not pregnant, sis. Mm -mm, no way, no how. Mm -mm, not even by a little bit. Listen, little baby gonna be born with a tattoo and jazz baby gonna be born with a driver's license. Not a driver's license. Nada Nada said, girl, he told her before and after she slobbed on his knob on camera. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she gonna say, when he was on top of me? Color purple. She's saying, Gerard Gay, that goes to Texas and sleeps with... And will exactly. She's saying Gerard gay, but then goes to Texas and sleeps with him. Well, you know why? Because, you know, although she said that he's gay, but that still was a husband. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, again, it's the stupid lies for me. I just, you know, y'all, at this point, we're just sitting here shaking our head, waiting on the next damn episode. Because, y'all, we don't know what to expect from these people. I can't stand Jenny. Tried to watch one live and fell asleep. Every time I tried to try, my eyes got heavy. Straight line, Nelly P. I, you know, I don't watch Jenny. How I know things about Jenny is because y'all come over here and tell me. I, I cannot. That lady is weird to me. She's very weird. <laughs> I cannot. Erica said, sis, well, maybe that turns her on when she know her men is bye-bye. I, girl, I guess. I don't know. If he told her he gay, it probably was when she was slobbing on the, the cop. And at the time, she said, oh, it's okay. You my soulmate, right, Miss Lena? Oh, my goodness. TMR Jenny is a whole soap opera. How can she preg be pregnant by Zola and she was prostitute? Oh, my Michelle. Because, you know, she said that she used condoms with her Johns. Well, why wouldn't Zolo be a John? That was your first time meeting him. Just like your Johns, it's your first time meeting them and you using condoms with them. Why was it so different from Zolo? Was it the tattoos, sis? Was it the tattoos that turned you on? Oh, my goodness. These people on YouTube, my gosh. I feel like it's a stick up for money at Jenny's channel. Well, not a not a, it's only a stick up if you feel like you need to give it up. Uh, no one should feel that pressed to get that girl anything, honey. I I believe she got her own apartment now. Let that lady finance her own damn lifestyle. All this and she ain't went to nan nobody's job. Uh uh, no way. Hey hey Zo. Hey sipping. My son is twenty nine. He says 
on dating sites, girls are saying they want bisexual or trans males. Really, Jules? I mean, you know, whatever. Hey, hey, Marie, whatever floats your boat over there. Whatever floats your boat, honey. If that's what you like, that's what you like. I don't know. But the people that's over there supporting Jenny's lifestyle, child, they crazy as hell. Because I wouldn't dare give that woman a crying dime or a screaming nickel. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. For what? Because her stories just keep changing all the time. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. What Zolo got that got these ladies wanting his baby? I know it's not the looks. But you know what's so you know what's so shocking to you? Hey, Miss Official A. Um, you know what's so shocking to me though? Is how Olivia basically gave Zolo a platform. Y'all know if it wasn't for Olivia, we wouldn't even be talking about that man. We wouldn't even know who he was. She literally hand that ninja a platform. And baby, he ain't gave you not one thank you. I appreciate you. Nothing. Nothing. I have been asking what all these women see in Hobo because I don't see it. Maybe I need trifocus, baby, something. I don't know what these ladies are seeing over there. But good luck to them, okay? But, we, you know, Olivia, she can only thank herself. Because, girl, you is the one that have gave this man a whole platform, girl. And he ain't even gave you a good thank you. Nothing. Mm, 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 mm. That's sad. That's very sad. But that's her life. That's the life she likes to live or wants to live or is currently living. So I want to ask you guys before we get off of here, what time tomorrow will be convenient for you guys for us to do the pre-birthday bash? Um, for all you guys, um, TMR birthday is Monday, September the 20th. Okay, I will be turning 49, saying goodbye to my 40s and looking into my 50s. Um, also, you guys know, if you don't know, um, I am launching Melvy Rose Beauty, um, which is my skincare line. Um, my goal is to launch it September the 30th, you guys, but I had an accident yesterday. Sipping Virgo gang, gang. I had an accident yesterday, you guys, with my stand-up mixer. Um, I was mixing up a body butter and um, I was using my my attachment and one of the attack the, the one oh god I just thought left the name just that quick not the whipping uh, yes the whipping attachment like what you would use like a uh, egg beater when you're whipping up eggs your whisk that's the word I'm looking for whisk my whisk attachment it broke yesterday so I was whipping up some butters and I I had put the butters in the freezer for it to solidify and I I didn't realize it was that hard and when I went to I broke it up with my wooden spatula and then when I went to whisk it I guess the butters were still too hard and y'all it broke my whole whisk attachment so that is an important piece <laughs> to my, to my, you know, to my business, because that's what I use to whisk, um, my butters up to have them, the whipped effect. So I am delayed because I have to buy another mixer and y'all know those mixers are very expensive. Those stand up mixers are very expensive. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I'm kind of in limbo. So I'm, Y'all, I'm so, so mad. Y'all, I was so disappointed last night. I could not believe I did that. And I tried to fix it, but there was no way that I could fix it. Yes, they are expensive. So, um, and I didn't have a KitchenAid. I had another brand. And when I went to Amazon to see if I can buy like a replacement attachment, they don't sell a replacement attachment. So, y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do, but. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. But um, so that that bummed me really bad yesterday. But um, so what time tomorrow would you guys? I'm thinking more of the evening, you guys. Right, A. Marie? I'm thinking more of the evening. TMR, you want to get you want get a industrial mixer as will be more rugged can rent or lease through restaurant companies yeah i don't i don't want to rent or lease anything sassy um i and i and i appreciate that because i didn't know that i want 
to own my stuff, you know, because I got enough things that I'm paying for out with already. A D, D, I did not get a warranty on it. Yeah, I didn't. I, I know. That's my mistake. That's my mistake. You know, you learn from your lessons, you know, that that's the woes and trolls of being in business for yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, you have I have a KitchenAid mixer. And you know, you know what? I really, really do want a KitchenAid mixer, but there's they're like 300 something. I seen one on Amazon yesterday, y'all. It was like $500. I said, oh, my goodness. You know, but that's okay. I'm going to figure it out. But I'm I'm slowed down a little bit. So, again, you guys, I'm hoping to do it on the 30th. I'm trying really hard. I do have a lot of product that's already made up, but I have new stuff that I'm trying to work with. I have new fragrances and stuff that I'm trying to work with. So, oh, my goodness. Um, But I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to do a soft launch next week. So my Shopify is up, but it's not live yet because I'm still adding. Um, right now, I'm taking pictures to add to the website. So I'm hoping to do a soft launch next week. Wait for Black Friday sales. Uh, yes, it's Mary Jane. Uh, that That is true, but I can't wait to Black Friday. <laughs> uh, you know, but I, I just was sharing that with you guys. Um, I, it's no big deal. I have my... I had my kitchen aid for 18 years and it still works. Wow, Courtney. Wow. Hey, Trice. Yes, blessed. I, I've been on Amazon. I've been looking. Yeah. So I just was sharing that with you guys. I mean, obviously, there's no need for you y'all to worry about it. It's not even a, I, I just was I was bummed about it last night because I couldn't believe I made that stupid mistake. But that's what happens when you're, you know, you're moving fast. And I was doing a couple things at one time in the kitchen and I should have waited, but. I was sick to my stomach last night when I seen that. TMR, I'm sick of these people just sitting up asking for money and they are able body and can work, but they won't. Yeah, Mama Michelle, that's that's an unfortunate thing. But I'm a firm believer in, you know, whatever you want in life, you 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 gotta work for it. You got to work for it in whatever capacity that you, you know, need to do. You definitely need to work for whatever you want in life. Um, have have a B day. Oh, C.C. Lewis. Thank you, sis. I appreciate that. That's so sweet of you. Thank you very much. TMR, how can I inbox you? Um, Miss Lena, you can hit me at Tasha Marie TMR on Instagram. So it's Tasha Marie TMR. Thank you, Miss Lena. I appreciate that, sis. Yes. Um, is it art arterin? Arterin, I do. Um Oh, thank you, A. Marie. Yeah, A. Marie just put it in for me. <clears throat> but anyway, you guys, so please make sure you go watch my video. Um, I just put out a video yesterday showing you the differences um, of the two body butters that I'm going to be selling. Y'all, I am so excited to bring Melvie Rose Beauty to life um, for you guys. Um, I, I'm just, I'm real, real excited, you guys. And it's been well, well overdue. I, I try to keep this project secret as long as I could. Um, I've been working on it damn near all year, you guys, um, because I was really trying to make sure I have the best product to give you guys. HSN, HSN has flex play, no interest, and cash back through Rocketon also add on insurance. HS, oh, Home Shopping Network. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, sis, I, I don't need to finance anything else, honey. <laughs> I got so much going on. I have spent an exorbitant amount of money. Y'all know anytime you start in a business, I have spent an exorbitant amount of money. Um, So I can't, but Sassy, I appreciate you, you know, put me up on game, sis. But yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I can't finance anything, baby. I need to pay it cash. So I, you know, because I, I know with business, you know, it's always more things. Um, that you need to 
always buy. I love mango butter. I do too. I do. I really do. I have a KitchenAid mixer until my 15 year old discovered bacon during the pandemic and took it over. I guess it's okay. He can cook. Yes, honey. Those KitchenAids are very, very nice. They're, oh my God, they're really, really nice. Great job, Timon, on your sugar scrub information. Oh, thank you, sis. I appreciate that. So, yes, I did a video on um, one of the sugar scrubs that we're going to be selling. Um, thank you, Mommy Time. And I've also did one on that. But uh, you guys, I don't want to bore you anymore with that conversation. Like I said, go watch the videos, get informed on what I have to offer you guys. Um, someone asked me yesterday in the comments, will I be doing body wash? And I definitely will. Um, I definitely will be doing body wash as well. I'm trying to have at least two on the site when we launch for right now. But flex, flex play is like after play, after pay, no fees, no interest, five months payments. Oh, thank you with love. I appreciate that. You would be able to pay your cash over time. It's so soothing to watch two of my example videos. Oh, thank you, Amory. Yes, I appreciate that. But I, you know, you guys, I just thought about that because. Yes, Katrina Sasha would do it. Yes, I'm doing a hair mask as well. I'm doing a hair mask as well. Team, I get it from QVC. You can make payments and they will send it right away. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, you know what? I've never bought anything from QVC. I've never bought anything from QVC, HSN. I've never bought anything from there. I really haven't. Yes, thank you, Erica. Yes, I will be doing a hair mask. I want maple syrup body butter. Yes, Sassy. I will have maple um because I do have um fall inspired scents coming out with the launch. I'm not gonna have a ton of them, but I am gonna have some. I'm hoping to have like four or five that you guys can choose from, and then we're gonna be ramping right into Christmas. So I definitely will have some Christmas um inspired scents. And I know a lot of people have been wanting candles. Um, I'm still doing my research on the candles. I don't think that will be coming for me this year, but I'm hoping maybe the beginning of next year, I can possibly look into that. She said, I love the home shopping network. Yeah. I got an auntie that's addicted to the home shopping network, but I, I myself have never bought anything from there. Can't wait for the hair mask. Oh yes. I can. Y'all the hair mask is lovely, lovely. I sent you something for your birthday to your Oh, Mary Blue, thanks, sis. I appreciate that. So, thank you so much, baby. I appreciate that. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I got some stuff I got to do. I got some errands I need to run. I know you guys are busy. Stay tuned tomorrow for the pre-birthday bash. You guys, we're going to try to have a good time. We're going to try to turn up. We're going to have some drinks. We're going to have some music, okay? So, I hope you guys come back and chill with me. I definitely will be on the camera tomorrow. Um, so, all right, you guys, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. Um, my skin is very sensitive. We're not a, not a, we're going to have a plain Jane line. Okay. For our sensitive skin, girls and guys, we're going to have a plain Jane line. We're going to have things that don't have any sense to it. Okay. So I definitely do understand. And I'm very, um, aware of the people with very sensitive skin. All right, you guys, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Remember, sub what you love. Have a good weekend, you guys. I hope I see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.